This is Dave Noonan, National Secretary of the CFMEU Construction Division. I wanted to talk to uh, our members today about the uh, issue uh, that's concerning the construction industry uh, and the whole uh, country, which is the current pandemic crisis. The Construction Div Division of the CFMEU um, has been in contact with the Master Builders Association and major employers uh, to discuss what measures we can take to firstly make sure uh, that workers health and safety is looked after, and secondly, that we can keep um, employment uh, and economic activity going in our industry. We're facing a serious crisis, as everybody knows, and we're living in some very difficult times. The first thing I've got to say is that it's essential uh, that we maintain um, all of the health precautions uh, that you've heard about uh, in order to make sure uh, that we're all safe at work. That means uh, frequent hand washing, it means social distancing, and it may mean uh, things like the staggering of meal breaks and limited use uh, of um, uh, lifts and material hoists on jobs. Uh, it may also mean uh, that we have to look at uh, some situations where uh, shifts are implemented um, in order to minimise uh, the number of workers in working areas at any one time. The consequences of uh, uh, moving to a close down of the industry would be very serious and at that time and at this stage uh, our advice from health authorities uh, and our view and the view of the employers in the industry is that we can safely continue provided that people uh, maintain all of the safety precautions that are required on site. If you believe uh, that's not happening, if there is breaches uh, of uh, hygiene uh, or overcrowding on sites, it's important you let the union know uh, and we'll come to the job and we'll try and sort out what needs to be done. Um, there are um, hundreds of thousands of workers in our industry. It's a big part of the Australian economy um, and the consequences of a shutdown uh, might be very serious. But rest assured, the union's here uh, to support you, to work with you, and whatever the consequences and whatever happens over the next uh, near time, your union is going to be at the forefront of working for safety, for jobs and the economic security of our members. I say to employers in the industry, it's incredibly important uh, that employers act responsibly in this area. We want to avoid uh, stand downs. Uh, we want to avoid a situation where workers are sent home uh, without any discussion or any negotiation. If your employer tells you you're stood down or you're excluded from the workplace, uh, contact the union. All the amenities areas, lunchrooms um, and uh, uh, toilet areas and so on need to be scrupulously clean uh, and we need repeated um, cleaning uh, on sites to ensure that there is minimal opportunity for the virus to spread. Nobody knows uh, what situation uh, is going to take place over the next few weeks, uh, but the union nationally is doing everything it can uh, to ensure uh, that there are uh, emergency measures in place for members uh, in the event of them being uh, stood down or excluded from work. I just want to say to members, um, the union is with you, the union's here to support you, um, and whatever happens, uh, we need to see this through and we need to make sure um, that as far as we can, jobs continue, that there is economic security for our members, but nothing will be put in front of the occupational health and safety of construction workers. Thanks for uh, listening to my message.